All right, guys, today we're going to be doing something extremely risky, and we're going to open every single Poncho Pikachu box and send it into grading, hopefully getting as many 10s as possible, if not the elusive black label. Opening up these boxes really makes no financial sense for me. I'll probably be losing money, but again, it should be very entertaining for you guys. I'll get a kick out of it. If we get a black label, it'd be super crazy. All of these boxes are extremely expensive. The cheapest one being like $2,000. Altogether, it ranges anywhere from like 23 to maybe 28,000. So let's say 25,000 in the middle. All right, so let's start off with opening up the Mario box. Now, I do not believe this comes with any packs. There we go. Can't go back now. These poncho boxes, even though when I'm opening them, between the boxes and the packs, you could probably get another couple thousand dollars if you like sold it. There we go. Oh, and on the inside, wow, what a portrait. So we got the Mario Pikachu, Luigi on one side, Mario on the other. So let's go ahead and open this and there we go. Yeah, so it's just, it's literally just loose chilling there. So here is the Mario Pikachu. Now off the bat, I'm a little bummed out because it it's off centered, right? So it, let me go ahead and bump these out and all right, so I just leave them up. Here's what they look like. I mean, come on. These are some of the best promos that you can get right now. That's probably why they're so expensive. Um, now, looking at this one, it's a little disappointing because you can tell it's off-centered. Um, so definitely not like the black label we were looking for. If we look at the back, uh, not too bad. Again, same off-centering. So, wow, we actually got pretty unlucky with this one. Uh, that's a big bummer because this was like the holy grail if this one got a black label who knows what you could charge all right so now we have the half art pikachu mario and let's go ahead and turn it around looks pretty clean on the back now this one might have a legitimate shot at a 10 in this box we also get the uh, mario deck box the mario sleeves and then some uh like dividers that's it for the mario pikachu box let's go ahead and go on to the luigi hopefully i mean fingers crossed the centering is a lot better on this one again you never know that's something that's just print quality over there usually they're pretty good on centering but we just got terrible luck on the mario it happens it was part of it but yeah so let's go ahead and open up the luigi there we go oh and it's actually the exact same as the mario box we're gonna open it fingers crossed oh wow so this one i don't know which one's more normal but this one's not even like upright so hopefully the cards are okay pull it out Oh, please. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Let me go ahead and open them up. All right, so I open up the package and to our dismay, uh, if you look at the bottom, it seems like there's a little bit of whitening. Let me see if I can pick that up. Here's the Luigi before I sleeve it up. Now, I, yeah, it looks like it might've, I mean, I don't know if that's just how it's cut, but there's a little bit of whatever on the edge i i think that might just be how it's cut but it might affect the grid as well I'm not too sure and then again for the luigi box you'll have the luigi sleeves and then the luigi deck box so pretty cool stuff so next up we're going to be doing the rayquaza poncho box this is one of the coolest ones i actually sent in two of these all right so let's go ahead and open that i mean this is it i'm pretty nervous guys i the mario and luigi were pretty disappointing so We'll see. I mean, these boxes are a lot of money. So I will, odds are, I'm not going to open these again. So I really, really want to get a good grade on these. Um, but yeah, oh wow, look at the box on this one. I forgot how cool it was. Like the art on the box underneath the sleeve, like no one even sees that. I guess you see it when you open it, but like still. The actual poncho boxes are in a better, you'll see when I open it, they're like more secure in the box. So I'm not too worried about them shifting around and all that. So there we go inside. You got the promo on the right. Let's go ahead and get that out. Oh, both promos. Yeah, so they have their own little designated slot. So it's a little better. Uh, let me go ahead and open these up. All right. So off the bat, not too bad. So let's inspect these. I honestly don't see anything wrong with them. So that's, that's a great sign. Oh, there's a little bit of, oh, whew, just a little bit of dust. All right, so there's nothing really wrong with them. They look pretty clean. Next up, we got the green ray. Whoo, look at that. You're combining Pikachu, one of the most popular Pokemon, wearing another popular Pokemon. So there we go, look at that. 
really nice. No whitening, no nothing. So, you know, these are these are good contenders, hopefully. So these boxes, they come a little bit, they're bigger, uh, but again, they come with these really cool sleeves. You get the deck box, and then you also get booster packs. I'm not too familiar with the names of these. Probably don't wanna open these yet. Uh, maybe in a future video or something, but uh, right now we're just gonna focus on grading the cards themselves. Next up, we have the Poncho, Magikarp, and Gyarados box. What's crazy is these boxes used to be worth, I think like $50 at the time. Let's go ahead and slide this out. And again, the ins I really like the inside cover. It, it looks like a cool pattern or, you know, like it could be a blanket or something. There we go. Be careful with that. All right. So this is what it's looking like in the package. Look at that. Yeah, these are my favorite for sure. Let's start off with the Magikarp. I don't see anything wrong. Centering is good. Let's look at the back. Centering looks good. Corners are great. Edges are great. Okay, now let's take a look at the Gyarados. So the Gyarados, also really, really nice. Centering's great again. Don't see any, I mean, I shouldn't see any scratches. And then going with the rest of the box. I believe this was the first one to come out. Oh, I guess they come with five of the same pack. Here's the deck box. It's featuring a fat Magikarp Pikachu. And then we have the, uh, oh yeah, these, these are really nice. I don't play the game, but if I did, I would for sure be rocking these. We'll save the Charizards for last. Let's open up the Team Skull. Uh, this one actually has two in it as well. This one's worth about $2,000, I believe. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Honestly, I think what I'll do is I'll have some with the sleeves on and some with the sleeves off. I think that would look really cool in the background. All right, oh, this one comes with packs too, I didn't know that. So inside, a little bit of a different layout. We have the deck box here on the side. Uh, these are the sleeves it comes with. And here, it, this one comes with six packs, which is pretty cool. And then the promo is right there. There we go. Okay. So looking at it, this one looks really good. Oh, wow. This one looks really clean, actually. Honestly, I really like the black and white tone of it. It looks really cool, like a ninja kind of. Um, and then, yeah, centering on the back. What do you guys think? Not too shabby, huh? Nothing wrong with the corners. I think this is another 10 contender if I had to say so myself. So this one's like the half art. Uh, again, not worth as much, but just as cool. Centering, not bad. No nicks, no bumps, nothing like that. Now it comes with six packs. Ooh, okay, so these, these look like the sun and moon, probably like uh, sun and moon base, I would assume in Japanese. Now we're going on to the Charizards. Hopefully saved all our luck towards the end for these two. Uh, specifically, the Black Zard's worth a little bit more. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the orange. So the Charizard's actually only come with like one promo worth grading. So the Charizard, this Pikachu is really cool, but it's only worth like $100 in a 10, I believe. Uh, so you're really just banking on the Charizard, which is why it's super risky uh, for the Zard boxes especially. So let's go ahead and crack it open. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box and then we slide it open. This one's a really cool... It actually, it has like different ponchos that I don't even know if they exist. All right, so fingers crossed on this one too, guys. Let's go ahead and open it up. Whew, okay, boom, right there. There it is, that's our money maker. So out the gate, it looks really good. Let me go ahead and take it out of the sleeve. So you again, you get two promos. I think this one would be worth a lot more if it was like, more hollowy if that makes sense it's kind of just like a common card with sparkles this is probably a lot of people's favorite one oh, go ahead and focus all right so now we have the charizard wow the orange and the green look really nice centering wise it looks really good i'm gonna go ahead and turn it around yeah not too bad at all centering looks really good I, I'm, I honestly could not have asked for a better copy. I think this will do really, really well. We can take a look at the smaller promo. I know the other Zard uh, has the exact same promo, so we only have to look at this one once. Pretty cool. Pikachu. This one I probably won't grade. 
uh, with the Express at least, I'll send it into PSA. I'll send it in with my other bulk submission. Let's check these out. Uh, so a little bit more basic, just chilling, basically like the portrait. Um, and then the deck box is pretty cool. Uh, it's got the portrait pretty cute. And then you got the shiny Charizard and the regular Charizard there. This one comes with, I believe, five packs. Again, I don't know the Japanese sets, um, but this one's really cool. Now we are at our last poncho box, the shiny Charizard poncho Pikachu. This one is absolutely insane. Really, really hoping this one gets a super, super clean promo. Come on, pop it open. It might be the same. Oh, so it's it's similar to the shiny one, but the black runs back. Black, back, black. Oh, I'm sweating. All right. And there it is, chilling in the corner. Let's go ahead and take it out first. So here it is, guys. We got the shiny Charizard poncho. Gonna go ahead and open it up here. Wow. The centering looks really, really good. I mean, I can't see anything wrong with it. Honestly, I know I said I like the Magikarp one, but this one is pretty cool. The way the red background, the black, the blue, all that. I, look at the back. This one is absolutely, I mean, it's pretty much perfect. I can't see anything wrong. It's pretty clean. We already saw this one with other Zards, so we're just gonna sleeve this one up. And then finishing off with what's inside. It might be the same packs, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it. And then the deck box again, similar to the other one, but again, the shiny version. And then the sleeve should just be the portrait. Yep, uh, so there we go. We just opened every single one. Let's go ahead and do a quick run through on everything we've opened. All right guys, so I sleeved everything up. Let's run through my plan, what I'm gonna do with them. So starting off with the smaller cards, these aren't really worth doing the express grading and all that stuff. So I'm gonna throw these into my regular bulk pile um, to be sent off to PSA uh, whenever I do my next submission. These, the Mario and Pikachu Luigi's, I don't wanna risk getting any 9.5s. So I'm happy if they get PSA 10s uh, as a set. Uh, you know, I don't want to send some to PSA and some to Beckett. So I'd rather just send them all to PSA. These cards, I could not find anything wrong with them, really. So the Team Skull, the Rays, uh, Magikarp, Gyarados, and then the two Zardis. I couldn't find anything wrong with them. So I will send all of these off to Beckett. You guys let me know down in the comments below which one out of these is your favorite. And also... What do you think the grades will come back as? Do you think there will be mostly 9.5s, all 10s, maybe a black label or two? You guys saw it for a little bit. Give me your guess down below. All right, guys, quick interruption from today's sponsor, me. If you didn't know, the channel now has members available, so uh, you can join as a member. All you have to do is scroll down. Right next to the subscribe button is the join button. Click on that. It'll show you different tiers and different perks they offer. It's, you know, it's one way you guys can support me. There's tons of other ways, but if that is something you're interested in, uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. But other than that, let's get on right back to the video. Two weeks later. All right, guys, so now we have both packages from BGS and PSA. We're waiting on the PSA one for a little bit, uh, but they're both here now, so we're going to start opening them. So again, I sent the Mario and Luigi Pikachus to PSA just because I thought there was a good chance they'd probably get 9.5s at Beckett. So we were kind of hoping for PSA 10s. Uh, any PSA 10 is a win for us here. So we are going to go ahead and see what we got. We're going to go ahead and open it up. All right, is it hidden? Okay, it's still hidden. I don't want to spoil it for myself or you guys, so we're gonna go away and... Okay. So that's the back. All right. Here we go. So we're gonna start off with... Oh, how, should, how, do, how do I block this? How do I block... Sorry, first time if you can't tell. Uh, we're just gonna... Just gonna block the number right there. All right. Okay, so the uh, this is the Half Art Luigi. Um, I think for this one, there was that little bit of whitening. Let me see if I can go ahead and tie it. There was that little bit of whitening on the corner. Actually, that's not the case. Oh, maybe I was tripping. But I think something was wrong with the corner, if I recall. Um, but other than that, it was pretty clean. So let's go ahead and see uh, what it got over here. And so for the Luigi Half Art, we got a PSA 10. There we go. 
that's pretty good. Now, the half arts are nice, but we really need the full arts to get a 10. That's, that's where all the money is. So then I'm assuming this is the Luigi full arts. Um, the Luigi full art had uh, like edge issues, I think. But it wasn't like like a real issue. It was kind of just how the, like I, I guess how the factory cut it, I believe. Uh, it's not very noticeable either. It's not like too bad. So other than that, I'm pretty confident it should get a 10. Um, but let's go ahead and flip it on over. The centering is, centering wasn't bad at all. It was just really those edges. Um, so hopefully that didn't, Dang it, and we got a, oh, a nine. Okay, I guess that was kind of expected, you know, with the edges, you can never really know how they're gonna grade it. And it is technically, you know, not, uh, it, it's not as clean as I would say it, it should be. Let's take a look at the back again. I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you look at the top edge, there's like a little bit of, it's just the way it's cut, I'm pretty sure. That's a little bit disappointing that I got a nine. One nine, one ten. Let's go ahead and move on to the Mario. This would be the Mario full art. Yeah, cause this one, this one was the centering. Um, honestly, it it's pretty off centered. Uh, could it get a PSA 10? It could, is it likely? Not too sure. I guess we're about to find out. So there's a centering on the back. You can see it's a lot thicker on this side than this side. Yeah, and then if we, yeah, you can tell that it's a little bit, it, it's pretty visible. This one's a lot thinner than this side, but I'm really hoping this one is, like the jump from PSA 10 to PSA 9 on this is pretty, pretty drastic. So really, really hoping we get a 10. Oh, okay, so we got a nine uh, for both of them. I guess that's kind of expected. We were pretty disappointed when we opened them, so. Uh, at least it wasn't an eight, I suppose. Um, these two weren't eights. Sequential nine pair, pretty cool. Uh, I have to think about maybe if I wanna crack these now to go to BGS uh, and then maybe get a 9.5, because you know, 9.5 is better than nine. Is it worth it? We'll see, I'll, I'll have to go do some research at the end. Little bit bummed out on these. And I kinda knew uh, just because I sent uh, a set of these to PSA a couple weeks ago. And I got upcharged on the Mario whenever it got a 10. I didn't get an upcharge this time. Um, so I, I think I knew deep down that it didn't. I was also kind of hoping like, oh, maybe it just slipped through and it didn't get upcharged. Um, but so I guess I kind of knew. But there we go. So the two full arts got a nine. Let's see if we can save it with the last half art. I don't recall anything wrong with this one at all. Out of all four, uh, I don't remember saying anything bad about this one. So this one should, like, should get a 10. Um, centering looks good. And again, I don't remember anything. So we're just going to go ahead and, okay. All right. So, I mean, that's, that's about as good as you, the, that's the best worst you can get. You know, you can't always get 10s. That's just something you got to live with. Uh, it's, you know, if you always get 10s, then it wouldn't be special. That's just part of the thing, box fresh, uh, Mario and Luigi Pikachus. A little bit disappointing, but let's go ahead and go on to the Beckett submission. All right. Oh, I guess they use, they use like the same box pretty much. Again, this is my second time submitting to Beckett. But the very first submission I did with Beckett uh, was eight Poncho Pikachus. So just to give you a little bit of what I was expecting, I submitted eight Poncho Pikachus. Three of them came back as tens. Uh, Four of them came back as 9.5s, and then one of them came back as a, as a nine. I know what the uh, I know what the grades are, so we're gonna play a different game because I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. They all got BGS tens, right? So the reason why I've been dying over there while this package has been sitting is you don't know if it's a black label or a regular BGS. Oh, sorry or a regular, you don't know if it's a black label or a regular BDS 10 until you get it in the mail. So I've been just dying to know what's in here. Now again, they're all BGS 10s. If there's no black labels, that's completely fine with me. I, I really don't care because that'd be insane to have a complete sequential, one submission, all Poncho Pikachus in a BGS 10, probably never been done before. Um, so that'd be unique in itself. Of course we want black labels. If, if we got 
all black labels by somehow it probably be i could probably get like a hundred grand out of it right but let, let's not get ahead of ourselves and i think it's kind of cool what becca does you don't know if it's a 10 until you open the box so uh, we're just gonna how do i want to do this though okay i guess we're just gonna take it out okay so i have a sheet of paper here that i figured we would use and uh we're just gonna we're just gonna cover it so we're just gonna take it out okay we're just gonna we're just gonna cover it okay so we're gonna cover it this one oh god how am i gonna do this okay well, i guess we're just gonna look at the first one just to see if it's in the right orientation oh okay Oh, talk about free advertising. Anyways, uh, okay, so it's underneath there. Dang, is this a sticker? Okay, okay, okay. Underneath. My heart is pounding right now. We got a, what is it? Okay, okay, so this one is the black Charizard. Actually, is this see-through? Okay, so we're going to use this sheet of paper instead. Uh, we're going to throw that out. All right, so we have, oh, the black. So they're all tens again, they're all tens. Please. This one would be insane. This has to be the most valuable one. Black label, Poncho Charizard. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So we're, we're kinda, oh, you can see. Okay, so you can see behind. So that's a little bit of a spoiler. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and get some more sheets of paper and then I'm gonna cover the ones behind. Okay, well, that's, that's not the greatest start. All right, sorry about that. This is super weird. I, I've never done this before, so. So we have the, we already know. Let me, let me move the camera. Okay, so, all right, so this is it. Hoping for one, I'm thinking Team Skull that was the best. If not Team Skull, probably one of the Rays. Uh, just because I'm assuming right now, so this one was in 10, the next one should be Charizard, uh, and that one was gold. So, okay. That's a little bit odd. So the certs, 698, 699. I for sure sent these as pairs. So that's super weird. I know sometimes like PSA will just throw in cards, but the fact that the cert isn't the same is a little concerning. We'll set that to the side. So the so the Gyarados got uh, BGS 10, and this feels also really weird because I'm if I get a 10, I'm like sad because we're going for black labels here. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a, even if there's no black label, it's still pretty cool to have like a sequential one submission uh, poncho set. So next up, so now, now, okay, so now we have the actual surprises. So next is, should be the Magic. Okay, so Magikarp, this one makes sense. Magikarp got a 10, okay, so. Already through three of them, basically halfway through. Again, can't complain with the 10, but we really want that black label. Next up is the, okay, so now we're on to the rays. Green ray, so the green ray, come on. The black ray would be sick in a black label. Uh, but you know what, green ray would be, they would all be sick in a black label. Um, okay, so that one got BGS 10. BGS 10, I mean, again, ha, uh, oh no, I just spoiled it for myself. The next one, all right, sorry guys. Well, now we know what these two are. Wait, where's the other ray? And this one's 714, 724. These certain numbers make no sense. 724, 714, this one's 701. Wait, I just realized they're not even the same. This one's 701 and this one's 699. 
but I for sure sent these together. Like, like these two were for sure together. So where's seven zero? And this one's a nine eight. And this one goes to seven fourteen. I didn't. I only sent these cards. Well, that's that's super weird. I'm gonna have to look into that. Uh, but let's go into the thing. Okay, let's not do that same mistake that I just did. This one is the the black ray. Okay, and then so now we have. Okay, there's, there we go, Black Ray, baby, Black Ray, oh, sorry, a Black Ray, Black Label, that is cool, what's the cert on it, 707, I don't know what the, let's take a look, let's just look at that, doesn't that look crazy? That's the best looking one, like with the black label. I don't think it gets better than that. It's black on black. This is cool. Okay, that's, so we did get one. We got the black Rayquaza. I've never personally seen one of these, um, like ever, even like for sale. I've never seen one for sale. I've never seen one, you know, sold. So this might be, I'll have to look how many there are. If this is like a pop one, that'd be super crazy. I, I probably doubt it. There's, I'm sure there's other ones out there, but this is really cool. All right, guys, so we, we pretty much made our money back. Well, I'll, we'll have to do the math at the end, but we pretty much, this should be worth 10,000. I'm just gonna throw it out there. At least $10,000 for this card. It looks super cool, very happy with this. Let's go on to the Charizard. Charizard should be oh, That's how you do it, baby. That's so cringy. I'm sorry. That's So I guess they put it in the back. Which I guess now that I'm looking at it, they just threw them in the back. Okay, let's take a look at it. So it looks really cool. This one is a fan favorite. I know Charizard is the most expensive. I want to say this probably goes for like 12000 I think. Uh, not too sure. Um, but the fact that we got two is pretty insane. I mean, we just made like... These two combined should be worth 20000 for sure. Uh, and the boxes were 25,000. So whatever this is, is all gravy. That is actually a huge, I wish, I don't know how to describe the feeling, but it's like you won the lottery kind of like, wow. I, I wish you guys could like feel it. That's what she said. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Let's do a, let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. It's pretty cool, guys. It's pretty cool. So we have our centerpieces there. Let's go ahead and make a little display. After gathering myself, this is basically what we got going on. This is our full submission. Again, $25,000 plus grading cost. So, you know, let's say, I don't know, 27,000. Uh, and we'll just go each one and I'll give you like an estimate what they're worth right now. Uh, so we have the Magikarp BGS-10, we got the Team Skull BGS-10, the Gyarados Poncho BGS-10, the regular Ray BGS-10, the Shiny Ray Black Label, this one, my favorite. Uh, then we have the regular Zard Black Label, Shiny Zard BGS-10, uh, and then we have the Mario set, so we have the Mario Half Art PSA-10, the Mario Full Art PSA 9, uh, the Luigi Full Art PSA 9, and the Luigi Half Art PSA 10. Okay, well, these are sequential. These are kind of just on their own. Um, so, yeah, I would say we did very well. Even with the nines and um, the non-certs or whatever, I would 100% take this, of course, all day, every day of the week. Um, you know, thank you guys for your support without this, uh, without y'all watching, I, I wouldn't be able to do this or I wouldn't dream of doing it. Uh, I really thought you guys would enjoy it. 
and I get a kick out of it. This turned out to be actually not only really fun, but we, we made something out of it, whatever the amount is. Um, so again, thank you so much. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe for more content just like this or you know similar. Hopefully we can do more in the future. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day.